Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today, let's take a look at powers and exponents. In our first example, we're going to write expressions using exponents. So in part A, we have negative 1 times negative 1. Well, we're going to use the negative 1s as the base of our exponent. So that's going to be written as negative 1. And how many times it appears, once, twice, is going to be the actual exponent. So my answer is negative 1 to the second power. The same thing can be said about our example B, where we have 5x plus 1 times 5x plus 1. Well, that's there 1, 2 times. So we can do 5x plus 1 squared. So again, it's just in parentheses, 5x plus 1 squared. Keep those parentheses there. Next, we have 1 half times x times x times x times x times y times y times y. Well, let's break it down one piece at a time. The 1 half is just there, so it's 1 half. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so that's going to be x to the 4th. And we have 1, 2, 3 y, so that's going to be y to the third. So again, 1 half, just there once. x to the fourth, there's 4 x's, times y to the third, since there are 3 y's. Let's move on. In our first example, we took repeated multiplication to write it as an exponent. Now, we need to take our exponent notation and write repeated multiplication to help get us our answer. North American hockey rinks are built according to the National Hockey League specifications. Evaluate each expression to find the following lengths. In A, the distance from the goal line to the closest blue line is 2 to the 6th feet. Well, what is 2 to the 6th? It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos there, representing the little six there. Well, two times two is four for that two times two. This two times two is four, and the last two times two is also four. Four times four is sixteen times four, and sixteen times four is 64. So, 2 to the 6th equals 64. One common mistake with exponent notation is sometimes we look at 2 to the 6th and say, all right, that is 2 times 6, which is 12. That's wrong. It's repeated multiplication and needs to be written as such. The length of the rink is 2 to the 3rd times 5 squared feet. Well, 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, since there are 1, 2, 3 twos. And 5 squared, there's 2 of them, is 5 times 5, since again there are 1, 2, 5s. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 5 times 5 is 25. And 8 times 25 is 200. So, 2 to the 3rd times 5 squared is 200. Moving on to our last example. Evaluate x squared minus y to the 3rd if x is negative 5 and y is 2. Well, let's make our substitution in here. For x squared, we're going to use the negative 5. So, negative 5 squared and then we have our minus. For our y to the third, we're going to put in the 2. So this is going to be 2 to the third. Now, what negative 5 squared is, is negative 5 times negative 5. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 5 squared is 25. 
then the 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, and that is, well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Again, I see so many times that 2 to the third becomes 6. No, it, it's 8. It's 2 times 2 times 2. Now, one other important thing here, don't lose track of the subtraction sign, but 25 minus 8 is 17. And that's it.